no time streaming. No, no. There is a recording. She said just just want to say that that the sponsor is um, and then we just and then just we will not share the the account that we have. So we will not actually we will we will just we will just remain friends to us and then put sponsors in and we just call them the accounts and we send them and then follow the accounts and then they call yeah but the first one that they have to pay then then we will have to start and get us a file and then they can see and then they can go and see the file. Good morning and welcome to every one of you gathered here today at the Star of the Sea Church and all those who are joining us via the live stream on this, the Feast of the Solemnity of Mary, the Holy Mother of God. A very special welcome to also to all visitors who have joined us in prayer today. Let us now take a moment to turn around and say hello to one another. In today's gospel, we are told about the angel Gabriel appearing to Mary to announce the birth of Jesus. And Mary responds, let it be done to me as you say. Father Ronnie will lead us in the Eucharist today, so please stand and join the choir in the entrance hymn. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Good morning, dear friends. Good morning, Father. And Happy New Year. Happy New Year. Today, church celebrate a feast of Blessed Virgin Mary, Mary, Mother of God. 
Holy See also declares today as the World Day of Peace. Let us thankfully remember the blessings we received last year and ask God's presence in the new year. May child Jesus and his mother may bring us more prosperity in the year 2023. You might have known that one of our bishops, Bishop, uh, sorry, Pope, Pope Emeritus Benedict XVI has passed away and we, the Universal Church mourns on his death that God of life grant eternal rest unto him and may a perpetual light shine on him. May he rest in peace. Amen. Amen. Let us call to mind our shortcomings and failures to offer these sacred mysteries. Lord Jesus, you are mighty God and Prince of Peace. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. You are the Son of God and the Son of Mary. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. You are the Word made flesh, the splendor of the Father. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. O oh God, who through the fruitful virginity of Blessed Mary bestowed on the human race the grace of eternal salvation, grant, we pray, that we may experience the intercession of her through whom we were found worthy to receive the order of life, our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. reading from the book of Numbers. The Lord said to Moses, he spoke to Moses and said, say this to Aaron and his sons. This is how you are to bless the sons of Israel. You shall say to them, 
May the Lord bless you and keep you. May the Lord let his face shine on you and be gracious to you. May the Lord uncover his face to you and bring you peace. This is how they are to call down my name on the sons of Israel, and I will bless them. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. be gracious and bless us and let your face shed its light upon us so will your ways be known upon earth and all nations learn your saving help may God bless us in his mercy. let the nations be glad and exult for you rule the world with justice with fairness you rule the peoples you guide the nations on earth. May God bless us in his mercy. Let the peoples praise you, O God. Let all the peoples praise you. May God still give us his blessing till the ends of the earth revere him. The second reading is a reading from the letter of St. Paul to the Galatians. When the appointed time came, God sent his son, born of a woman, born a subject of the law, to redeem the subject of the law and to enable us to be adopted as sons. The proof that you are sons is that God has sent the spirit of his son into our hearts, the spirit that cries, Abba, Father. And it is this that makes you a son. You are not a slave anymore. And if God has made you son, then he has made you heir. The word of the Lord. Thanks. Thanks. Please stand. In the past, God spoke to our ancestors through the prophets. Now he speaks to us through his son. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Glory to you, O Lord. The shepherds hurried away to Bethlehem and found Mary and Joseph and the baby lying in the manger. When they saw the child, they repeated what they had been told about him, and everyone who heard it was astonished at what the shepherds had to say. As for Mary, she treasured all these things and pondered them in her heart. And the shepherds went back glorifying and praising God for all they had heard and seen. It was exactly as they had been told. When the eighth day came and the child was to be circumcised, they gave him the name Jesus, 
the name the angel had given him before his conception. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. When I was in primary school, I used to love running around. That was my favourite thing to do at playtime, running. Um, and playing tiggy, playing cops and robbers with my best mate. And uh, during lunchtime and also well, growing up through primary school, we used to um, love athletics. So me and my friend that always used to love running. We were naturally, you know, the fastest in the school. And so we used to try to race each other and, and beat each other. And I loved it when my mum came to watch the athletics. Um, she was my biggest fan, always cheering us on on the sidelines, um, encouraging us. And it didn't matter what place I came, she always you know, was, came over, gave me a hug. And um, I just have very fond memories of, of her cheering us on on the sidelines. Everyone has a mother. And today the, cel the church celebrates uh, this solemnity of our mum, Mary, the mother of God. So Mary is someone that we look up to. It's someone that we admire as a role model. So why is Mary so special to us as Catholics? Uh, one reason is because she is the Theotokos. She is the God-bearer. She bore God in her womb. And we hear in the, um, the visitation of when she visits her, her cousin Elizabeth, Elizabeth says, blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. So she bears this and has a very, very big responsibility, a big blessing to bear the fruit, which is Jesus in her womb. But we don't worship Mary, rather we venerate her. Uh, like the saints, she is an example for us. The Hail Mary prayer, which many of us know, uh, goes a bit like, goes like this. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. So this is the greeting that we hear in Luke chapter 1 of the angel. She said, Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Uh, blessed are you among women. So you are chosen out of all the women of, that uh, were ever created and will be created. You have been chosen. So blessed are you among all women. And blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus as I just said, um, the visitation when she, visit, uh, when she visits uh, Elizabeth, the child leaps in her womb, the child John the Baptist leaps in Elizabeth's womb, and then she says, blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. So even, even John the Baptist knew that this was something special in the womb when Mary appeared to uh, John the Baptist and to, to Elizabeth. So Holy Mary, Mother of God, Pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. So this was added by the church a few centuries later as a supplication, as a, a way if, to ask Mary. We don't, pray to, uh, we don't pray to Mary, rather we ask her to pray for us and with us. Uh, us, we are all you know, sinners, me included, fellow sinners. Um, we all fall short of the glory of God and we ask her to pray for us and with us to God from uh, now and at the hour of our death. So um, hopefully when we die, we will pass on to eternal life and we ask her to pray for us now and at that time as well. So Mary is our biggest fan. She's our spiritual mum on the sidelines, cheering us on through the journeys, the joys and the sorrows of life and praying for us all the time. Fulton Sheen puts it this way, he says, God who made the sun also made the moon. The moon does not take away from the brilliance of the sun. All its light is reflected from the sun. So the blessed mother, like the moon, reflects her divine son. So what can we learn from this amazing woman, Mary, the mother of God? Mary said yes, and for this we rejoice and we try to renew our yeses and say yes to God as well. So when the angel appeared to her, she said, let your will be done, let it be done according to thy word. Mary was a human. She had free will, she wasn't a robot, so she could have said no, but she said yes. 
and for this we are grateful. She brought forth the Saviour. The theato- she was the Theotokos, the God-bearer. She brought forth the Saviour into the world, and for this we are eternally grateful. So maybe we need to also take a leap of faith and say yes to the, the promptings of God. God speaks to us every day in, in small and, and big ways. How are we saying yes to God as well? Secondly, Mary points us to Jesus. We know from the parable or the story of the wedding feast at Cana in John's Gospel, they ran out of wine. It's, it's not good to run out of uh, food or drink at any party, but particularly at a wedding, it's a, it's a great shame or a, a bit very unfortunate. And Mary, wanting to you know, help their friends save their face a little, said, I know how I can help. I'm going to gather all the servants around um, and <laughs> just say, listen to Jesus. Listen, he, do what he tells you, she said. And Jesus said, um, woman, my time has not yet come, but he still, he still um, is obedient and still performs the miracle. We know the story where the um, jars are filled with water and miraculously it turns into wine. Jesus' first miracle. So in what ways do we trust and in what ways do we point others to Jesus as well, like Mary does? And finally, Mary is our spiritual mother. Mary is the new Eve and and Jesus the new Adam. So their yes and and cooperation with God's grace um, undoes or fixes the original defiance of Adam and Eve when they ate of the fruit in the garden that they weren't supposed to eat. So it restores humanity's covenant with God once more. That, that, That separation, that link that was broken, we have that restored again. So Eve is the mother of creation of earth, whereas Mary is the, crea- uh, the mother of the new earth, of the new creation, eternal life in heaven. So we might not no longer have an earthly mother or a biological mother, but we can look to Mary as our spiritual and our heavenly mother and call on her whenever we need Often society tells us that we should float from one thing to the next and not really think about um, why we're doing it or have a depth in in contemplation of why we do what we do. Uh, I saw an example of this um, recently when I noticed, I was at the shops and I noticed the hot cross buns were on the shelves already, um, like a few days after Christmas and and I think, that's, that's way too early. Um, you, if I was, you know, made the king of the world or whatever and I could make the rules, I would say they, could, they only should be put during Holy Week where, you know, the cross of the hot cross <coughs> bun represents the cross of Jesus and the spices represent the Jewish uh, burial customs. And so it's sim- symbolism and it's traditionally consumed after the Lenten fast t- to break the fast. Um, so why not release it during that time? but I'm you know, not the king of the world and I can't do these things, but we can be aware of these things and, and actually think about what we do, why we, what we do, what we do. Yeah, why we do what we do. Um, and the scriptures also challenge this sort of societal and worldly mentality through Mary's example because she pondered these things. She took some time out to treasure these things in her heart as we hear from the gospel today. So how was your 2022? Have you taken some time out to think about these things? Perhaps like the shepherds, we can reflect back and glorify and praise God for all the things that he's done. Or like Mary, we can take time to treasure and to ponder all the things that have happened. The blessings, big and small, God has placed on our life over the past 365 days. And finally, when was the last time you called your mum? Besides Jesus, remember, she is your biggest fan. So we entrust 2023 to Jesus through our blessed mother uh, on this solemnity, Mary, Mother of God. And if you'd like to join me, I'd like to pray the Hail Mary prayer together. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women. 
Blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. And may you have a happy and a blessed new year, and may it be full of praise and pondering over the next 365 days. God bless you all. I believe in God, in God Father Almighty, Creator of heaven and earth, and in Jesus Christ, His only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended into hell. On the third day, he rose again from the dead. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of God the Father Almighty. From there we will come to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and life everlasting. Amen. At the beginning of a new year, and with renewed hope, let us pray to our God. That this will be a year when violence gives way to peace, and hatred gives way to reconciliation. Lord, hear our prayer. Lord, hear our prayer. That God may grant Pope Emeritus Benedict a share in the heavenly liturgy, for he devoutly exercised the ministry of priest and bishop in the earthly liturgy, who governed Christ's church with love and fidelity that Christ may welcome him to the place prepared for him in the Father's house. Lord, hear our prayer. Lord, hear our prayer. That praise and thanksgiving be always in our hearts and on our lips. Lord, hear our prayer. Lord, hear our prayer. That this community, blessed by the Christ child, may be compassionate and generous to all. Lord, hear our prayer. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. We pray for Richard and Philomena Viegas on their anniversary, and Emma Jefferson, who passed away last week. Lord, hear our prayer. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. We pray for the sick, especially for Rick, Rick Johnston, who's very seriously ill. <coughs> Lord, hear our prayer. Lord, hear our prayer. God of surprise, you sent Jesus to us as a helpless child. Hear the praise we now pray through the same Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen.
blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands, it will become our bread of life. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you. Fruit of the vine and work of human hands, it will become our spiritual drink. Blessed God. Wash me, Lord, from my iniquity and cleanse me from my sin. Pray, my dear friends, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice of your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. O God, who in your kindness begin all good things and bring them to fulfillment, grant to us who find joy in the solemnity of the Holy Mother of God that just as we glory in the beginnings of your grace, so one day we may rejoice in its completion through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let's give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, and to praise, bless, and glorify your name on the solemnity of the motherhood of the blessed ever-Virgin Mary. For by the overshadowing of the Holy Spirit, she conceived your only begotten Son, and without losing the glory of virginity, brought forth into the world the eternal light, Jesus Christ, our Lord. Through him, the angels praise your majesty, dominions adore, and powers tremble before you. Heaven and the virtues of heaven and the blessed seraphim worship together with exaltation. May our voices, we pray, join with theirs in humble praise as we acclaim. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and ended willingly into his passion, he took bread giving you thanks, broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, once more giving thanks. He gave the chalice to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, 
the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. <clears throat> the mystery of faith. For us, we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection. We offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, Mark, our Archbishop, our auxiliary bishops, all the clergy, and entire people gathered here. Remember your servant, Pope Emeritus Benedict XVI, whom you have called from this world to yourself. Grant that he, who was united with your son in a death like his, may also be one with him in his resurrection. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with the blessed Joseph, her spouse, the blessed apostles, and all the saints who have pleased to you throughout the ages, we may merit to be coerced to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God Almighty Father, the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from our distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of
Behold the Lamb of all, behold him, who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am worthy and his return to the Lamb. Holy say the word, my soul shall be healed. May the body of Christ give you a self for eternal life.
Thank you everyone for attending this Mass. Coming Thursday is the first Thursday of the month, so we will have our anointing Mass, 9.15 a.m. Thursday. After anointing Mass, there will be um, blessing of columbarium and morning tea. I welcome all of you to our Thursday special Mass. And we will have our morning tea after Mass at the entrance of the church. Newspaper Catholic leader is available at the entrance of the church. Let's stand for final blessing. <laughs> Let us pray. We have received this heavenly sacrament with joy, our Lord. Grant, we pray, that it may lead us to eternal life, for we rejoice to proclaim the blessed ever-Virgin Mary, mother of your Son and mother of the Church, through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Bow your heads for the solemn blessing. May God, the source and origin of all blessing, grant you grace, pour out his blessing in abundance, and keep you safe from harm throughout the year. Amen. May he give you integrity in the faith, endurance in hope, and perseverance in charity, with holy patience to the end. Amen. May he order your days and your deeds in his peace, grant your prayers in this and in every place, and lead you happily to eternal life. Amen. And may the blessings of Almighty God, the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit come down and remain with you forever. Amen. Don't hate glorifying the Lord by your life. Thanks, Thanks be to God. God. Thank you so much once again and Happy New Year. Enjoy happy the day. New Year.